I'm Dr. Kevin St. Clair. In the following feature, we'll be discussing a common viral infection called molluscum contagiosum. We'll describe who gets it, what they look like, and how we can treat them. Molluscum contagiosum represents infection of the skin with a virus in the pox virus family or poxviridae. This virus is almost ubiquitous. Many human beings at some point in their life get infected with this virus, but like so many virus, we typically tend to get infected as children. Then we become relatively resistant to this as we get older. This uh, virus is easily spread, as the name may imply, molluscum contagiosum, from person to person or from place to place on the same person. This can also be contracted through contact or touching of inanimate objects. The virus sits dormant in the skin for a period of weeks to a few months and then it'll grow into the typical small waxy flesh colored bumps that we recognize as molluscum. Molluscum are harmless. Uh, treatment is always optional. Even if you choose not to treat these bumps, they generally will resolve in a period of months to as long as one and a half or two years, even without treatment. Uh, and if people have normal immune function, like most of us, generally they will resolve, like I said, without treatment. If a person's immune function is compromised, then they can be problematic in terms of eradication and also in terms of diagnosis because they can take a typical uh, clinical appearance, such as being very large or, um, or very large in number. Well, what do they look like? Well, they range in number from a single small bump to tens to dozens or more of these small bumps. Again, they're very easy to spread on your place from uh, play, spread on yourself from place to place in a process called auto-inoculation. So it's not at all uncommon to see these in folded areas where the skin may touch itself. For instance, inside of the arm and, and the thorax, uh, forearm to the to the bicep area from bending the arm. Uh, they can also spread in simply in scrapes or scratches. The virus can spread in that um, in that injury and pop up in a linear fashion. Occasionally, a person will develop a rash around the molluscum in a process called molluscum dermatitis. It looks kind of like eczema, and it feels like eczema, too. It's very itchy. Uh, if young adults uh, obtain this infection, typically it's in the groin area because this may be transmitted sexually. Again, this is just simply skin-to-skin -skin contact. Uh, people with atopic dermatitis tend to have a harder time handling this virus, just like they do wart virus. and may have large numbers or may be difficult to eradicate. Here we see three photographs of the typical appearance of molluscum. On the top left, you see a single lesion. Uh, if you look closely at many of these photographs, you'll see there's a tiny dimple on the surface. This dimple is called an umbilication, and that dimple is filled with a white cheesy material which actually contains the majority of the infecting virus particles. Uh, again, if you can opt to treat these, you can opt not to treat them. Either way, it's going to turn out okay in the long run we always give parent or the patient the option. If you do decide to treat these, many times repeated treatments may be necessary because they, you may pop up with new molluscum whether you treat the existing ones or not. And again, they may be dormant for a period of months before they even arise and then we can detect them. And you can't treat them, of course, unless you can detect them. Probably a, a popular option uh, among small children is, is what we like to call benign neglect, which means we simply observe them and let them run their course. If, there, if active treatment is desired, one of the more common methods used in older children and, and adults is destruction by means of freezing or cryotherapy with the use of liquid nitrogen. This stings, but is reasonably effective. Another effective method in small children that we like to employ is the use of cantharidin. This is a topical liquid that's applied to the, uh, to the individual molluscum. Uh, and it's, it's known as a chemovesicant, which means that it actually causes a blister. The blister is very thin-roofed and will heal uneventfully, usually in just a few days. Not scary for small children. Uh, methods have been used for decades is called curatage, where the lesions are literally just scraped off with a sharp instrument. A little uncomfortable, but often quite, also quite effective. Removing that central plug that we mentioned within the umbilication can often result in resolution of an individual molluscum. This can be accomplished by teasing it out, for instance, with a, with a toothpick or even duct tape can be used. You can lift it up and place it on many times over. You can actually pull out the central plug at times, which will result in resolution of the molluscum. Topical medications that can be applied in the office include potassium hydroxide, trichloroacetic acid, or concentrated alpha hydroxy acids. Those are generally applied in the doctor's office. Well, what can be prescribed? 
Topical medicines can be used, vitamin A derivatives such as tretinoin, an immune response modifier or immune recruiter called imiquimod, or, or concentrated salicylic acid. These are usually prescribed and can be picked up at a pharmacy. Oral medications, cimetidine, a very safe oral antihistamine that's been used for stomach acid for many years, has been shown to be of some effect in small children. The effect may be placebo, but it's a safe medication and may be worth trying in children who have many large number of molluscum or intolerant of topical therapies. Oral antivirals are of very limited use and are best reserved in people who have a, a compromised immune function.